The man arrested in connection to his ex-girlfriend's disappearance and death was in a Tennessee courtroom today. He will stay in jail up there a bit longer before he's sent back to the Gulf Coast. As News 5's Cody Long reports, he told the judge today he has some things to resolve, like who will take care of his daughter. Marcus Spanavello was in court Monday after he was arrested on I-65 south of Nashville, Tennessee. Are you willing to waive extradition? Not at this moment. Okay. But there are some things that need to be resolved before I'm um, willing to, to go that route. He told the judge he's worried about his four-year-old daughter and who will care for her. I'm just trying to get to make sure that my daughter is taken care of with the people that, um, that I'm leaving her with. Spanavello's daughter has been with Child Protective Services. She's now without her mother. After Cassie Carley's body was found in a shallow grave inside a barn near Birmingham. Cassie's family is working to get custody of her. Spenavello is accused of lying to law enforcement and getting rid of Cassie's phone. More serious charges directly related to her death are pending the results of the autopsy report. We hate it that Cassie has passed away, but it's good to get closure for the family and it's good to keep this dirt bag in jail where he belongs. Cassie's family and friends gathered Sunday at Navarre Beach. They lit candles and prayed in the spot where Cassie was last seen with Spanavello as she was scheduled to pick up her daughter. We're gonna get Cassie home. We're gonna give her the most beautiful celebration of life you've ever seen. And we're gonna make sure this can never happen to any other woman ever. Cassie's friends are starting the Cassie Carly Foundation, a nonprofit that will focus on preventing domestic violence and helping victims. Spanavello will be back in court April 13th. That's when we should know when he'll be extradited back to Santa Rosa County. Cody Long, WKRG News 5.